I started swimming when I was eight. I was a part of the Seacoast Swimming Association, and my coach, Mike Parado, he saw each of us as a whole person and not just an athlete. Since probably throughout the eighth grade, I had dreamed of going to Stanford for the academics and the atmosphere, but also for, for the swim team. I wanted to have a total package. I wanted to have the best education I could get and be a part of the best atmosphere for me. People often think of swimming as an individual sport, but in college, the camaraderie amongst us, um, swimming together every day, twice a day, and then competing as a team for points, you know, really was nothing but a team sport. And every time we raced individually, it was just a piece of the puzzle. Um, and I love that about it. Walking through graduation and getting my diploma from Stanford, I mean, it's been amazing. But when I look back now, the part of the whole experience that I treasure are being part of that team and winning four NCAA championships together and feeling like I have, you know, 20 to 40 sisters I think my favorite Olympic moment actually was from the 92 games. I was on the medley relay with, at that time, Lee Loveless and Summer Sanders, who were my um, teammates at Stanford. And to celebrate something so special, but with my Stanford ladies, so to share that Olympic gold medal with them was my favorite experience. Right now, 2019, I am a mom. I say first and foremost. I say I'm a career mom. You know, my goal is to raise empathetic, responsible, loving boys, and this seems to be heading in the right direction. <laughs> I'm an anesthesiologist at the VA Medical Center here in Charleston. Uh, I was working in a private practice in Maine, and I just felt that I needed to be more present for my family, but also the idea of working with veterans and giving back to men and women who've done so much for our country and served our country. It is really a blessing every day to, to help people in their most vulnerable moments, and it means a lot to me to be able to, to, to give back to the veterans. I would say by far the biggest influences for me were my mom. She was a fiercely independent and strong woman. My coach growing up, Mike Prado, and then my coach at Stanford, Richard Quick. You know, I also love him like a dad, and he believed that I could break world records, and I did, and I, I didn't know that I could do that. He taught us to really believe in ourselves. I think the biggest life lesson I learned as a college athlete is that, to use someone else's words, it takes a village. Um, it's not just me, it's not just one person in isolation. For one to achieve their goals, it's not just something you can do alone. And it's okay to rely on other folks. Everything that we do is part of a team, and uh, I think that my college experience helped me to see that.